Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video, we're going to do the detailed review of this Motorola uh, Razer. It's also known as Motorola Droid Razer and this is the flagship Android phone from Motorola and uh, this sells for about approximately about 30,000 Indian rupees. I have given the link of Flipkart uh, below so that you can check the latest pricing. So let's get on with the detailed review of this Motorola Droid Razer. This mobile was provided for review by Faisal Communications. So this is the Motorola Razer and uh, the first thing I want to talk about is that how slim is this phone? This is a very slim phone and it's the slimmest standard phone in the world and it, at, at the bottom as you see it's just about 7.1 mm and uh, to give you an idea how uh, is this phone I have some other phones to compare. This is a Samsung S plus that's a 4 inch screen and we have the galaxy note that's a 5.3 so i'm just going to place the samsung s plus over the razor and you can see that it's a little bit wider than the 4 inch phone and uh, if i place it over the galaxy note which is a humongous phone this is a 4.3 inch and this is a 5.3 so that gives you a pretty good idea about how is this phone and this s plus is by no uh, means a thick phone but if we compare it with razor you can see that the razor is pretty slim and uh, let me just quickly give you a physical overview of the phone and the phone comes with a 4.3 inch uh, screen size but i have noticed that the width of this phone is a little bit uh, wider uh, if you compare it with the similar 4.3 uh, inch phones uh, like Samsung S2 it's a little bit wider and also this phone uh, sports a QHD resolution that's uh, slightly uh, larger than normally used in other phones like S2 uh, the QHD resolution is 960 by 540 pixels that comes to about a PPI of about 256 that's significantly higher than used in uh, Samsung S2 that's uh, about 217 and this phone comes with a super AMOLED uh, advanced display uh, though it's a pentile screen, uh, I had no issues with the same and I found this uh, screen to be brilliant. And uh, due to the high PPI of about 256, everything looks really good. Uh, the text etc is pretty crisp. I'm now just going to give you a, a quick physical overview. On the top we get a micro HDMI slot uh, and we get the micro USB uh, port for charging the phone. We have a 3.5 mm headphone jack and on this side we have the power button. Again it's a little bit resist I don't like. Same uh, we have the volume up and down button. Again they are a little bit resist so I found it a little bit difficult to use. No camera shutter button. On the bottom we have nothing actually and on this side we have a micro uh, sd slot this flap opens and we have the slot for adding the micro sim also as you can see the micro sim goes over here and we can add a micro sd card to expand the storage the default storage that we get with the phone is 16 gigabytes you can add a micro sim up to 32 gb if you like again moving on we have nothing over here and let's go towards the back at the back you'll find a little bit bulge and here uh, Motorola has provided us the speakerphone which is actually pretty good. I found the audio quality of the speakerphone to be excellent. It's one of the best uh, speakerphones that I've tested uh, on an Android phone. We have a LED flash and we get an 8 megapixel camera uh, and it can record in full HD that's 1080p. And if you notice on the back, this back is made up of Kevlar that's a bulletproof material and it's actually very nice to hold and uh, as you can see it's pretty durable and it should resist scratches and etc and if you look closely let me zoom in we also have one additional microphone over here and this is used for noise cancellation and uh, let's move towards the front portion of the screen the, the front portion is made up of uh, durable uh, gorilla glass and uh, we get nothing there are no physical buttons on the same we have touch type capacitive buttons at the bottom apart from the gorilla glass that's uh, and the 4.3 inch screen we get a front facing uh, camera that this is a 1.3 megapixel camera and it can shoot uh, in 720p hd i tested this camera with skype and the video quality was pretty good 
uh, and we get the earpiece over here and we have other sensors here that's the ambient uh, light sensor and the proximity sensor and uh, we also get a led notification light over here when so whenever we have a let's say a missed call or a new email uh, this light will glow up in green color and i think that's a very good addition because i've seen a lot of other uh, android to phone manufacturers are omitting this led notification light so that's a good thing and on the bottom we have one more uh, hole over here that's for the microphone so overall the build quality of this phone is uh, very good actually this is a very durable phone because front is made up of the tough uh, gorilla glass and the back is of kevlar so this phone should resist scratches and should be very durable and i'm just going to unlock the phone now you need to press the power button and use this this is the unlock screen which gives us uh, basically uh, the time date and we get two sliders if you oh, you see that animation that's when the phone gets switched off you get that animation and we get a couple of options directly from the home screen if you use this and slide it over here you can directly go to the camera app and we can use this uh, to unlock the phone and you can also quickly toggle to the vibrate mode using the same I'm going to switch back to sound on and I'm going to unlock the phone now and uh, at the bottom we have four capacitive touch type buttons for uh, using the phone and I'm just going to cover the ambient light sensor because these light up automatically whenever there is less light and we get the menu button we get the home button we get the back button and the search button and this phone comes with the android uh, what do you say gingerbread but uh, uh, it came with android version 2.3.4 which was a little bit laggy but i uh, updated the phone and now it runs on android 2.3.5 and i have to say that this phone works like a dream and uh, this phone is going to get what do you say the ice cream sandwich that's the android 4 update pretty soon so so that should make the phone even better this phone runs uh, uh, on the Motorola uh, UI that's known as Motro Blur and I found it to be pretty uh, intuitive and uh, fluent to use. This phone runs on a 1.2 GHz uh, dual core processor so you don't have any problems while using the phone it's silky smooth i didn't face any issues of lagginess or something like that and you do get uh, uh, quite a few customization because based on this motor blur for example for adding your favorite contacts you can just drop down and you can add your contacts now let us test the browser on this phone i'm connected to my wi-fi connection and we're going to launch the browser and let's go to first tech2bus.com and also the keyboard provided on this uh, phone is pretty good actually and you also get the swipe keyboard on this uh, phone and i found the, uh, the level of customization allowed for the keyboard to be pretty good so no issues with that i have noticed the web pages to load a little bit slow on this phone it's not very slow but a little bit slower so this is the tech to buzz website it's loading and uh, as you can see it's uh, the scrolling etc is pretty smooth on the phone and let us uh, tilt the phone to see if it orientates and as you can see it uh, quickly orientates into the landscape view and uh, let me just open up the story and uh, if you noticed uh, I'll just double click on the same and I found the text reflow option on this phone to be pretty good and also the pinch to zoom gesture etc is pretty easy it's silky smooth so browsing the web on this phone uh, I don't have any issues with the same it's pretty good also this phone will play back flash content without any issues within the browser I'm just going to hit play and this is one of the videos and as you can see uh, it plays the flash content without any issues so no issues regarding that uh, moving towards the gallery of this phone it's known as my gallery and as you can see uh, you get a, a carousel uh, like view basically the photographs that you have taken it displays them and let's just go to the camera roll and uh, i found the uh, video quality on the 
this one to be very good this is uh, one of the videos that i shot uh with this phone itself and you get a carousel like this so you get a lot of options and this is one of the videos that i've shot with this phone and i don't know how good it will display but as you can see the quality uh, is pretty good the screen is pretty good and it's a pleasure to watch videos on this uh, phone let me pause this now this video was actually shot down with this phone let me go back now and uh, regarding the storage this uh, phone comes with 16 gb of internal storage the storage is divided into two parts out of that 16 gb 8 gb is allotted for your media storage for example photos videos etc your files and uh, the 8 gb that's left out of that 4 gb is allotted to the operating system and you get 4 gb uh, almost 4 gb of space for storing up your apps so you shouldn't have a problem uh, why, with uh, downloading a lot of apps on this phone because it offers us plenty of storage and uh, the ram on this phone is 1 gb and i didn't face any uh, lag issues or something like that using the phone so moving towards the camera uh, i have mixed results with the same uh, the rear facing camera is a 8 megapixel camera but i have found the photos to be a little bit on the softer side it's good but it's not the best the front facing camera which is a 1.3 megapixel camera uh, can shoot uh, videos in uh, 720p hd and uh, again uh, you can check this uh, link in which i have done a detailed uh, video review of the camera performance in a nutshell the camera performance is uh, average while taking photos but if you take videos with the same it's pretty good actually the videos are very very sharp Another thing I want to mention about uh, this phone is the call quality. I, I review a lot of uh, phones, but I have recently noticed that uh, in a lot of Android phones, the call quality is not that great. But the, on this phone, the call quality is very good. If I would have to rate it, uh, I would rate it as 10 on 10. Also, this phone employs the noise cancellation feature and uh, the calls that I made with this phone, the other party uh, uh, said that the calls were very, very clear. So I don't have any issues with the call quality on this phone. It's excellent. And also the speakerphone on this phone is excellent. Uh, and I didn't have any issues using the speakerphone. Regarding the battery life, this phone comes with a 1780 mAh battery. And as you might have expected, the battery is non-removable because of the slimness of the phone. And uh, I found the battery life to be uh, above average uh, according to Android standards. Uh, it can last you a complete one day of usage without any issues and uh, with the light usage i was able to extend it up to about two days so battery life is uh, decent on the phone also gaming is uh, pretty decent on the phone i'm not a big gamer if you notice but uh, i've tried a few games like angry birds fruit ninja etc on this phone and they were brilliantly without any issues Angry Bird is loading now. Let me lower down the volume. As I have said, the speakerphone is pretty good, and that shows here. Let us just click on the same. And I have to say, the quality uh, the quality of the screen is very good, and everything looks really vibrant. Let us just, let me just quickly show you. So as you can see, everything runs silky smooth, no issues regarding the same. I'm just going to get out of this. Also Motorola uh, bundles quite a few good apps on this phone and uh, one is GoToMeeting. If you are a business professional, you'll appreciate the same. Also we do get quick office so that you can view office documents without any issues. We also have Motorola print. And there's another thing known as smart actions uh, where you can actually customize your phone so that it uh, sips a lot less battery. I can't go into details regarding the same in this video, but this is a nice feature that is uh, built into the phone. Now let me quickly uh, run the quadrant uh, benchmark. This is uh, nothing indicative of how the performance of the phone is 
but I'll just run it to give you an idea of the score. Overall, I found the phone to be really responsive, no issues with lagginess or anything like that. I am highly impressed uh, with this phone. I'm just going to skip uh, to the score. So the quadrant uh, benchmarking is complete and let me just zoom in to give you an idea what is the score and the score is 2345. So overall I like this phone very much and uh, if you are in the market for looking for a, a phone Android phone of about 4.2 or 4.3 inches uh, give a serious look out to this phone uh, because it's an excellent Android phone and I would even go ahead and tell you that if uh, I would have to use this as my primary Android phone I wouldn't have a problem using the same. I hope you found the video helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate it if you click on the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link above. Thereby, you'll be automatically notified whenever I add a new video. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.